everyone. So today's perfume review is going to be on Queen Latifah's debut fragrance. It came out um, in fall 2009, so it's relatively new, and it was called Queen by Queen Latifah. So the first thing I want to show you was the is the packaging that the bottle comes in. So I bought the 50 milliliter bottle. I didn't get a gift set, unfortunately, but I do have the box that the bottle came in. So this is the Queen box. I love it that it has um, a picture of her. I think it's a, a well done box. The first part is actually a slip case here. So we have a picture of Queen Latifah looking very pretty and elegant in her red dress. Um, the fragrance itself is more sort of sophisticated and um, kind of classy. So it, it really is a good picture of how she's sort of in that nice um, living area in like maybe like a castle or something. It has nice chandeliers, a fancy fireplace. It really does capture the sort of um, scenario that the fragrance is going to try and put you in when you wear it. So I really love that. And I love the way she looks. I love everything about it. That part is actually a slip case. So it comes off like that. And then then we have the under, the sort of interior box, which I don't like as much. It just says Queen by Queen Latifah, and it has these gold um, squares sort of protruding from the box, like you can feel it, and then a heart in the center, information on the back, or sorry, on the bottom, and then the back just has pretty much the same thing, only now the square boxes are in the heart part rather than outside. So. I mean, it's nice and shiny, I love the gold color, so that's really nice, but I, I think it looks a lot better when it has that sort of covering it. So, I love the box, however, what I don't like about the fragrance is the bottle. I hate the bottle. It's probably my least favorite um, bottle in my entire collection. I'm sorry to anyone who loves it, but I just don't really like it. So, so here it is. This is the Queen bottle. It basically resembles the sort of like, like that part, the interior box part. So it has the heart in the center and then those little square, that square pattern that I was sort of telling you about. Um, it has a golden barrier that's going around the bottle there, so that's a nice touch. But what I sort of don't like about it is that it kind of does look a little tacky. Um, with the big heart and the gold and the bright red, it kind of reminds me of like something you'd find at Valentine's Day. Like, you know when you go to Carlton Cards or Hallmark during Valentine's Day, they have so much like red heart crap for Valentine's Day and it's like there's so much of it. This just reminds me of one of those, just one of those things on the shelf. Like I just, I don't think it was done very well. Um, it's... It also makes you sort of think of like Tetris, because it has like all these little blocks like falling. And it's weird, because if you look from the side, basically there's a heart indentation in the back, and then like a heart popping out in the front. So it's almost as if someone took a heart-shaped stamp and like pressed it in the back and like pushed that part inwards, and then it popped out from the, like it popped out on the other side. That's basically what it is. So it goes in there and then pops out there, covered in like the little squares. Um, so yeah, it's very blocky, um, I just don't love it. The lid is nice, it pops off like that, and it has Queen Latifah's sort of the, like insignia there on the, on the top, and it's a nice gold cap with a red uh, surface on, on the top there. So, um, don't love the bottle, uh, not my favorite, but, you know, we can get over that. So now I'm going to tell you what the perfume smells like. So this perfume was released in the fall, and it really is a perfect fall-winter fragrance. It's very warming, it's very heavy. Alright, so I'm going to uh, spray this for you. Well, for me, but... <laughs> Alright, so Queen is a difficult fragrance to actually describe, um, but I'm going to do my best. Um, so in the top notes, we do have slight, we have a few citrus notes like um, mandarin orange and bergamot. But I feel like those light citrus notes don't really come through. It's more the golden accord of tequila and um, uh, incense that you really smell in that first uh, initial spray. So it comes across as a very deep, 
um, almost vanilla scent right off the top. It is a sweet smelling opening. Um, not a sugary sweet. It is a very amber deep sort of sweet. So it's, an, a, it's a nice one. It has a more of a sophistication to it than a lot of these sort of gourmand scents out there. So I love the opening. I just, um, I feel like it very, it really does capture um, the signature of the scent. The top note and the middle note um, aren't too distinguishable from each other. They do sort of like blend together. Uh, the pretty quickly, I mean. And the heart, the middle note has uh, coriander, jasmine, and cognac. And that really adds the main character of the scent. It really does give it a lot of structure and it just helps to prolong that deep sweetness that you got when you first sprayed it. And it really makes you think of like the picture on the box. Like I imagine someone in a red dress wearing this fragrance in like a classy sort of scenario that she's in with the piano in the background and the like sort of Roman style um, fireplace and everything like that. It really make, makes me think of like a queen, like it smells sort of royal if that makes any sense. It does make you smell like you, um, you're important kind of. <laughs> And I really like that, and I love the, the the deep sensuality that it really tries to bring. I feel like um, it's not like too fruity, too too sweet, too anything. It really just is a nice balance. And overall, it's a very sensuous sort of fragrance, very intimate smelling. And the base note um, towards like the very end of the scent, um, we have vanilla, and we have tonka bean, and we have incense. So that prolongs that sweetness and it really leaves you with this sort of mysterious warm scent on your skin. Um, so for other products, I don't have any of the other, of the other products, I haven't actually seen them selling anywhere. Um, I felt like this fragrance didn't get as wide a release as some others because um, it took a while to find it and I sort of don't see it um, in too many places. But you can get it in a gift set. And the gift set does come with the Queen Body Lotion, and you can also get a body butter. Um, I've seen it, I've seen pictures of it in like, so like a, a round body butter sort of screw on case, as well as in like a tube. And I feel like with this one, a body butter does sound like a perfect sort of pairing with it, because it is um, something that you just sort of want to have all over you, because of its really sort of... Um, ambery sweetness that it has to it, something that you kind of just want to cover yourself in during the winter or fall months to help bring a little warmth to your evening. So I would say that Queen um, is a more mature scent and it really is appropriate for fall and winter but it is too heavy for spring and summer. It's, it's very uh, low on the fruit ingredients. You're not going to find any fruits mixed in, into this other than the light, the light citrus ones. So it's not a fun fruity scent for like daytime or for spring or summer. It really is a more mature warming scent for the fall, winter or classy evening sort of scenario. Uh, so that's it for my Queen review. I'm not sure if Queen's going to... if she's going to release any more perfumes, but um, as for her debut one, I think it is a good one just to try out. If you are looking for something for the evening, for those cold nights, that's a little bit more on the sensuous side, um, give Queen a try. I think you'll probably like it. Um, okay, so that's it for my review. I hope you guys liked that, and I will see you next time for some more perfume reviews.